everybody. We're headed up to uh, Eastern Kentucky again, the uh, Central Kentucky Ford Bronco owners are having a ride tomorrow, Saturday, uh, in the backcountry byway up here. Again, this will be our second one. And uh, I'm not sure exactly what trails we'll be doing, but it should be a fun day. Uh, I'm staying at Cali's tonight. Alex Campground. Um, I'm staying in my Dodge Ram 3500 that I pull RVs with on the side. I decided I was going to haul the Bronco this time because I'm putting a lot of miles on it. Uh, next weekend I'm going up to from Lexington, Kentucky for a Ford Bronco meetup, first ever there. And then the following weekend is the four day weekend with. Tenerai Off-Roaders, we're having our spring event over there in Hollywood, and we're going to also do a trail on the Daniel Boone Backcountry Byway. So putting a lot of miles on the Bronco, so I decided to tow it this time, rented a U-Haul trailer. I'm going to have to get me a car, car hauler trailer, uh, so I'm going to start hauling this more. I'm doing a whole lot of trips. So uh, by myself this weekend, Debbie had something going on tomorrow, Saturday. And the girls, well, they wanted to come, but just didn't want to bring them this time since I was in this truck. So, uh, like, please go ahead and like and subscribe to the channel if you will. It helps out a lot. Leave a comment below and tell me what you think about this video. We're going to have some good footage coming up uh, off-roading with a group of Broncos. So. my setup for the night I got the Bronco unloaded and I don't have any table I didn't bring any tables or anything with me I, I've got my coffee that I'm going to make in the morning and I'll just put it set it up in the back of my Bronco and I'll be sleeping in here you guys probably haven't seen but I built a bed in here for RV hauling, for staying overnight at truck stops and stuff. That's where I'll be sleeping tonight. I'll crank up the Dodge and probably run it all night with the heat. It's supposed to get down to about 31 tonight. So with that, I guess I will see you all in the morning. Well, good morning, everybody. It's about 6.40 a.m. It's about time to crank up the Bronco and warm it up. I am going to um, get out and start making some coffee here in a minute, but it has just started to get good and light to get outside. And I slept good in the truck last night. Stayed good and warm, so. Looking forward to a great day of riding on the DBB, so I will keep you all posted. We'll see you in a bit.
Okay, I'm headed out of Cali's campground now. I've never been to Cali's, it's just a great place to camp, to set up and base camp for your trip around the DBB. Uh, I really love the place. Uh, and headed out, we're gonna meet everybody over at Slade. Um, I guess you call it the rest area over there where we'll have a short meeting and we will head out to the trails from there. I'm going to get your good side. Alright. Okay, we're getting started on the trail ride. This is New Virginia Road. Alright guys, I just wanted to throw a shout out to my buddy in front of me there in the red, pretty red Bronco, John Carson. He's the main dude with Central Kentucky Bronco, the Facebook page. Uh, he organizes these rides, puts them together. If you're not in the Facebook group, look for it and get in. We do all kinds of rides. We're starting some new things coming up. It's going to be exciting. Everything will be posted in the Facebook group. So go sign up and again, appreciate him for setting up this ride. Okay, one more quick shout out uh, for Brent Berryman of God's Country Overland. He gave me this device uh, so I could set my camera up for this killer angle here on the trails. I really like that. And you can check him out on Instagram, God's Country Overland. And he's got a cool green Bronco like mine. And you're going to see him on this video a few times. So go check him out. He's got a killer Instagram channel. Okay, we are at the first tough section on New Virginia Road, and it's very rocky, ledgy. You get off camera on it, and it's a fun, fun little spot here.
be made here. Yeah. Water down here to town. <laughs> nice. Nice. Starting to come down. Oh, he's good. He's got a good line yeah, on it. Yeah, he does. I just didn't want to get him too far passenger. Yeah. 
Those rails you got on are, are body mount, not oh, okay. rail mount. Yeah. No, you're good, straight. Just go easy. Down in the front. There you go. Passenger low. Coming down. Okay, after stopping at our favorite spot for a photo shoot, we are now on Sinking Creek Trail. And it's a beautiful trail along the creek. There's a few tough spots on it, and it's a really enjoyable ride. I just love this Stanley Boone Backcountry Byway Trails. They are awesome. Sinking Creek. This is where the water enters. Pretty cool. Okay, this is another little tough section on the trail. It doesn't look like it uh, by the video, but it's uphill. There's a couple very large boulder ledges you've got to climb over to get up it. And another fun spot.
Okay, this is the end of part one on our trip, Bronco trip into the Daniel Boone Backcountry Byway. Thought I'd leave you with a little clip of what's coming up next, so hit that subscribe button. We're going to be at the Rock Garden. Uh, you want to be notified for that video for sure. It is a fun trip. And go ahead, leave me a comment below, please. And hit that like button. And we're going to see you guys on the trail soon.